Hello guys, I'm Arish Mathur from It's Yellow Thing and uh, here in this video we are going to see the several features of the Yola smartphone. So uh, from the very first screen, the blank screen, the locked screen, you can uh, still have the notifications of the missed calls or messages. Uh, you can see here there is a notification light at the bottom of the screen which uh, shows you the uh, uh, notifications uh, then the green light specifically shows you the uh, missed calls so uh, let's uh, open the lock screen the by double tapping so here is the notification which shows you that there are two missed calls from the same number so by tapping that it will ask you to swipe up to access the notification so by in notification notifications you can see uh, there are two missed calls from a number so let's come back to the home screen uh, in the home screen uh, you can see here is the P phone application and it's open in this style so you can access the dialer from the home tile itself by swiping it towards the right and the dialer will pop up so in this you can just dial any number and tap on call and it will call that number you can swipe down to see the uh, those recent calls you can of course call a contact by swiping down or enter a phone number by again opening up the dialer and here you can see it shows you the recent calls this arrow shows you that the call was incoming and this shows you the out, uh, missed calls um, there is no sign for outgoing calls or outgoing calls and so it shows you around uh, 50 to 60 uh, recent calls. Um, la let's make a call now. So, uh, open up the phone app, go to end the phone number, and let's dial the default customer care number. So, here is the dialer screen. You can uh, see there are three options over here the loudspeaker, the uh, dialer and the mute button you can just swipe tap toggle them and access those things and bottom you have the end call button and by swiping down you can see there are add call and hold call buttons you can hold the call by uh, swiping down and uh, leaving at that point and you can of course resume that call and same way you can go and add the call by adding the call you will see the same recent calls by swiping down you can enter the phone number or call any contact so let's enter the phone number and here we go so interestingly uh, you can just uh, merge these calls and do a conference call or you just have an option to switch to the other call so it just it will just hold the previous call and uh, lets you uh, talk to the previous number and just again like you can switch to the other number and that call will be hold and you can just talk to the uh, next number while on call you can see on home screen there is the timer going up and the contact showing up so you can just swipe and end the call uh, by tapping again you will be taken back to the call menu so let's just end this call and uh, let's see how calls are received so let me call this number first oops uh, by the way there are these are the option which comes up by ending the call you can send message or you can just call again so th the call again feature is nice like uh, there are some time some uh, instance in the life when you just get a missed call and you need to call back uh, then you can just tap on the call back button and you can just call that number again no need to go to the recent calls or the contacts to call that number again so let's see how incoming calls work let me turn off the screen okay so here's the lock screen and i'm just dialing the number so here is the incoming call screen you can swipe down and ignore you can swipe up and answer let's see what happened when you answer the call the same uh, screen you can see 
uh, you can add call hold call same loudspeaker dialer or mute button you can just go to home screen and same see the same thing just you can just swipe right and just end the call so the call is ended you can call again or send a text message or just swipe to go back home uh, there are problem uh, there is no just uh, silent uh, button of the hardware button to silent this call like I cannot just press this button to silent the call it will just lower down the uh, not even the volume it just gives you no effect nor it will work if you lock the screen it do not lock the screen so to silent the call you have to ignore it now by ignoring it is just really ignoring uh, it do not end the call and took you to the home screen you can uh, just answer the call by swiping it anyway this or this side and if you want to end the call just tap it here uh, okay it's been missed uh, let's see the, this thing again so I'm just ignoring the call you can see you can decline the call or send the text message or you can again uh, go to the call menu and you want to answer it you can swipe down and you can see there is option to answer so there are two steps to decline a call first ignore and then end there is one more way to end the call which is by uh, going home and swiping towards right or left so this was the calling features uh, let's let me show you the settings of the calls so for settings you need to go to the settings option system sorry not the system apps and in apps you have to choose the phone and you can see these are the options you can add voicemail number you can uh, change your call forwarding settings call bearing settings here is an option which called quick call if activated it will call the number in the recent call by just tapping on the number like here it's just started dialing it but if not activated it will take you to the contact option like this it will not call the number these are the settings and you can of course change your call waiting you can add your voicemail number interestingly uh, there are no options to merge the call or there are no options for the speed dials well speed dials are kind of um, passive thing like in, uh, in this current generation phones but still some people prefer speed dials for quick accessing the quick access of their favorite contacts well the favorite contacts are still accessible like if you tap on the call contacts you will take them to the call contacts menu you can see your favorite contacts here and you can go to any contacts by tapping on the first alphabet tapping on any num uh, contact you will get the uh, phone calling the number so this was all uh, for voicemail you can just long press the one button and it will start doing the voice call I haven't said the number so it is not doing the voice calls so one more thing I uh, forgot to address here is how to save the con uh, unsaved contacts which you know so for say I have to save this number I got uh, from a contact and uh, I want to save in this my contact list then I just have to long press it and it will show you the call duration of that call and you can have options to call or send message or delete so if you want to save the number you just have to tap it and you have to press the save and it will just save the number and take you to the people application where you need to put the uh, data into it like first name last name and other things and just swipe swipe towards the right to accept it or left uh, swipe towards right to cancel it and left to accept it uh, well that is the case when it, the quick call option is deactivated let me show you when that is activated how to save that so like I have again this number which I have to sa sa uh, save so now here is the option to save as contact uh, converts to the previous uh, option to call 
so when I tap on the save as contact it will take you to the contact card and you just have to link it or save it uh, more about the saving and linking uh, in another video about the contacts so that was all in this video um, hopefully you like it and uh, do tell me about what you want to see more about this phone and uh, I will definitely tell you and uh, do share the video uh, subscribe to my channel and like it and if you have got any suggestions uh, you are most welcome um, see you guys later